What if I told you there is a way you can access every single large AI model within ChatGPT, like Claude, DeepSeek, Perplexi, and anything else you want. This will finally keep you from wasting way too much money on these subscriptions, and you can have one place to use all the models. In this video, I'm gonna show you why this connection can potentially save you hundreds a year. I'm gonna show you the exact method of connecting ChatGPT to all these large language models, and I'm even gonna give you a use case where you can start using this today. After using AI, I've realized, and I'm sure you've realized this too, that certain models excel at certain tasks. The classic one is that Claude, straight out of the box, tends to copyright a lot better than everything else. But the issue for me, at least, is that that is an, one, another subscription I gotta pay for if I wanna use Claude regularly, but also the context limits of Claude make it practically impossible to use unless you're paying $100 for it. Also, when it comes to coding, I tend to lean into Gemini Pro or even things like Quen. They just seem to give me a better output straight out of the box, but now I'm stacking on another subscription. And when it comes to research, there's no doubt that the perplexity is still my favorite for, to do research online. It just gives you the best sources. But then again, if I want to use the immersion of perplexity, that's, that's another $20 that I need to pay. I'm already close to $80 a month, not to mention ChatGPT itself. Now, I don't have to worry about that. I can access every single model under the one chat. The best part is that I don't really have to pay any any extra. There is a time cost every time you call these extra models, but it's fractions of a cent because you're only paying for when you call that individual API. Now, let's get to the good part. How do you set this up? You need two main things to get this set up. That is clavis.ai. This is the MCP that is gonna meld everything together. And then you need a way to access every single large with one API key, and the king for that is Open Router. So you need to create an account for both. Once you create an account with Open Router, which is free to create an account, but you will need to add some credits. You do that by going to your profile, go to credits, and here you need to add some credits. Now, you'll be surprised how cheap this is to use. For an instance here, last time I, I added funds here was six months ago and I added $50. Now I've still got $26 credits left. It's really worth it if you like using all these AI models. The next thing you need to do after you added some credits, you need to go to your API keys and you need to create an API key with this button here. Name it, for example, ChatGPT. I'm going to name it one because I think I've already gotten that named. I'm going to create it and you need to copy this API key. Make sure you copy that and you save it somewhere because that is the last time you're going to see this key. So step one, done. The next thing we need is to create an account with clavis.ai. Very easy to do and it's free for I think 100 calls a month, which is gonna be more than enough for most people. You create an account and once you do so, I want you to go to MCP service. The next thing we want is to search for here, open router, it's featured here. Once you click on that, you're gonna to go to get started for free. Now what we're doing essentially is authenticating our open router account within Clavis so we don't have to authenticate it once it's a chat GPT. This will all make sense in a second. So it looks like I need to search for it again. I'm gonna to go to uh, open router. I'm gonna to go to open router and you can see this here. I'm going to authorize this and the authorization process is really easy. You're gonna enter the API key that we just created from open router. I'm gonna paste it there, click save. It's gonna stay a while and you're gonna see this message, authentication saved successfully. Perfect. Now we're nearly not done. We gotta press these three little buttons here and we're gonna go show server URL, all right? You're gonna save this guy here and we're gonna close this. Now the final part of this is, is nice and easy. We're gonna go to ChatGPT and you need a special setting enabled. You see how my outline of the input box is orange? That means I'm in developer mode. Let me show you how you can have access to this. You're gonna go to your user profile, personalization and go to connectors. You're gonna scroll all the way down and in advanced settings, which is something they just released a couple of days or weeks ago, I can't remember, by default, your developer mode is gonna be disable. So it's gonna be like this. You see now the orange is gone off, but if I enable it by going to connectors again, going all the way down the bottom, advanced settings, now you see that I've got this um, new orange box outside of it. Now, there's a couple of things to keep in mind in here. As of the time of this recording, by being in developer mode, the chats cannot uh, they don't, can't access your internal knowledge, which is for secure reasons. This will probably going to be improved in a while, but anyway. Now, to make the connection, you're going to go into developer mode. And you're going to do the drop down here. You can see I've got a, a lot of MCPs connections. I might make videos on the rest later on. You're going to go to connect more. Name this MCP connection. We're going to go to open router master. 
or name it whatever you want. The description, you don't really need one. And the MCP server URL is where you post that URL that you got from Calabas. This one, MCP server, where was it? Uh, this one here, show the individual URL. That is the one we're pasting there. You're going to select under the authentication, no authentication because we've already authenticated this via Clavis, so you don't need to do that. We're gonna trust this application and go create. Now I'm set to go. So within the same mode, I'm gonna use the new Open Router API. And I wanna show you that this is kind of really, really working. Uh, and we can use in the same chat, a lot of models. For example, I'm gonna say here, I want you to access the MCP that you've got access to now. And I want you to write me a poem about AI in education today using Claude 3.5, then using Gemini 2.5 Flash, then using DeepSeek. Yeah. So remember, again, I'm using three models in the one conversation. I just gotta make sure that I go Claude 3.7, Gemini Flash, then DeepSeek, perfect. Now, once you do this and activate it, it should go looking for available tools. It's looking for the MCP connection, and now it's calling the tool, calling the different models you will get this and you need to confirm it for the conversation. It's a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie, because I need to confirm it every single time, but I'm sure within a matter of weeks, there'll be a selection to go just confirm all messages, much like you can do with the uh, Claude desktop MCP version. So now it's calling all the tools, we're gonna give it a second, and you're gonna see that we're gonna write with every single one of the models, and I'm gonna verify, I'm gonna show you that it's in fact used those models. Perfect, now it wrote it with Claude. So again, I use Claude Opus 4, I use Gemini 2.5 Flash, and I use DeepSeek. Now let's verify if it actually used this and it's not just making things up. Sometimes ChatGPT can do that. I'm gonna go to Open Router. I'm gonna go to um, the activity. This shows me what models I've been using. And you can see here, it used Claude Opus 4, DeepSeek V3, and Gemini Flash 2.5. This was, you know, it's 4.33 now. This was a 4.27, 4.27, 4.33. So it's the models that it's used. Pretty incredible. And this cost me, for each, so you get an understanding, Opus cost me 0 0.015 to use, which was probably the most expensive out of those ones. Deep Seek R1 cost me next to nothing, 0 0.00036 cents. You get the idea. It's very, very cost effective. So what can we do with this now? Well, I like to use different tools to research, to structure content and to write content that's going to organically bring the customers to my website that are going to convert. Because it's not just about the AI tool as well, but it's how you use it and the quality that you place in the content. But here with inside our community AI ranking, I've got a massive prompt here that uses the tools available to this for this specific MCP. So it's doing a couple of things here. It's doing a research with Perplexity Sonar Pro. It's then understanding everything with Claude and making the prompt, writing it with Claude. And at the end, it's even giving us an interactive widget with um, Gemini 2.5. So I'm gonna start the brand new chat. I've got the prompt pasted here, which is pretty humongous. And at the end, I'm just gonna say, um, let's write about the state of AI in small businesses today. I don't know. I probably could put a little bit more thought of it, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to hit enter, and it's understanding here what it needs to do. Claude putting on the editor's hat. You give the imperial thumbs down. Uh, Gemini duct taping. If you think uh, ChatGPT is speaking to me a little bit weird, I'm using the personality features, which I absolutely love. Cool. So now, after a little while, it's written a blog post with research. It's backlinking to that research. That's what you see here. Uh, it's using some information from Zendesk, uh, challenges and risk, the future outlook, FAQs, and a bunch of different things here as well. You know, we want to amend the copy as well. We don't just want to kind of blast this into our website without putting some second thought into it. But all of a sudden now, we've got the ability to write a blog post using our favorite AI without ever having to leave ChatGPT. Now, it's one thing learn how to use these AI tools, but it's another learning how to use these AI tools in how to do SEO correctly, which really works these days, by the way, to be able to do on-site SEO, how to get backlinks and how to leverage AI to do this correctly. This allows you to get organic traffic to your website that converts. AI traffic tends to convert 4.4 times better than normal traffic. So if you get this right, 
you never have to worry about where you're getting your next lead again. Now, if you want to learn how to do this, I've done a complete to free tutorial with all the resources that's available for you in the link as well. Now, how are you using this? I'd love to know what other MCPs I should connect and I should test out. Let me know in the comments below. Cheers.